Good morning. I only had one cup of coffee because for the next, I don't know, I'm going to reduce my caffeine. So um, today's going to be vague. Like <laughs> a couple of people might know. Well, it might be vague, but other people could relate to it, relatable. So um, under normal circumstances, I don't like to be doing like a lot of online stuff. I prefer real life. But, um, you know, I've been... I've been back in the north, and um, I haven't been feeling well. I'll just leave it at that. And um, it's not a lie or made up or anything like that. I don't want to talk about that. So anyway, I want to talk about that I've been online more lately. So um, I'm not one that really likes to get like too much into like online. But you know, every now and then, you know, you find someone online that you really like, wow, you you would be great friends. Um, you know, like if, if it was real life or whatever, there's just um, like for instance, um, a few years ago, I used to post in an online forums and there was a woman there that like, it was like almost like, oh my God, I found someone that like I wished was my uh, younger sister. And um, we we just connected and I, I, if you're listening to this, I apologize for anything that I might have said that um, upset you. I always thought very highly of you. Um, and care for you as a person, and I'm proud of you, and, um, anyway, but the topic isn't about you, but I'm using you as an example, that, um, I felt a great kinship with this person, um, based on both of us having some commonalities, and observing something that other people were, either not observing or like lying about or denying or whatever. And this is quite a few years ago and we still have a, um, a peripheral connection. Okay. And, um, I'm grateful to God that I had interaction with this person, um, you know, in my life. Um, now, not too long ago, I felt like um, nostalgic and homesick, and I felt like I started to connect with another person, and um, I, it made me feel happy because I'm going through, like, you know, stress in my real life, but I mean, I don't, wasn't, like, making up crazy lies or messing with them or, you know, I was just, like, just you know, like, whatever, right? And so, um, if I said anything inappropriate uh, prior to, like, last week, I apologize. <laughs> There's a reason for the timeline. But um, what happened was there was, like, a little online fight that got deleted, I believe, um, where... This person and myself and another person got into a um online fight, and this is my point of view, all right. The two other people that were in the little fight online might have different points of views, but you know this is based on my point of view is um that other person. Uh, went into a, like, a chat, and, um, I wasn't, like, that mad at them, so I went in, and I made a joke, like, to lighten things up, to show that, like, I'm okay, like, you know, we're here to have fun, whatever, you know, lighten it up, and, um, the other person, I don't know if they didn't, I, I really don't know, because I can't, like, go into your mind and know what you were thinking, what you were feeling, but I think that, like, they, they kind of, like, got a little defensive, maybe. Um, and so then um, 
I, I think I voiced being like a little annoyed or upset or whatever. Then the third person came in and then they started hurling insults at each other. And it actually afterwards it was really funny and it was some of the things they said was funny and juvenile. And then, you know, I was saying things in there too. But the thing is, is some of what was said, I guess you could say by all three people arguing, there was some truth mixed in uh, with the ridiculous comments. <laughs> because, you know, people that have um, like little beefs with each other, generally there's something, you know, whatever um, going on to elicit like an emotional response. See, I'm trying to keep it really vague because I don't want to, you know cause a bigger problem than, than, you know, or make something out of nothing or whatever. Now, um, about like about a week ago, the reason why I say apologize or I'm sorry that everything transpired the way it did or whatever, about a week ago, I was like, well, you know, we're here to have fun and you know, why do we, you know, and so I tried to reach out to this person and tell them something and share something. And then like, you know, that person is a decent human being because, you know, I felt like I apologized and the other person apologized. And like, you know, so like now it's, it's cool. And now like, I'm, you know, I'm fond of this person. I'm, I'm playing with them, but I don't do that. As a general rule, I don't do that. Um, and when I say playing, I don't mean manipulating or lying or being fake. Just like joking with them. But as a general rule, I don't do that. I, um, the same way I connected with a woman that I felt like I would want to be my younger sister. That's very rare. Um, that has nothing to do with gender per se. I like people, uh, feel connection to people because of some sort of commonality or whatever it is. I don't know. We could have Freud here and analyze it for a hundred years and who knows, but, um, I'm not one to just go on and try to like collect people like their toys to be put in a toy chest. I don't do that. I believe in things happening like organically, like it just happens, you know, you, you click, you, you have a friend the way I met Sophia Petrillo, the way I met Anita, we became friends the way I met June, the way I met, um, another, uh, former friend, the way I clicked with a friend from high school who passed away last year. There are certain things, um, and you know, they say reason, season, and lifetime. And there are even online people that we might not necessarily like each other, or we don't really know each other. And I don't want to get into anyone's business too deeply, like just everybody's business too deeply. Like, there's one person on here that I don't really know them, and I don't think it would be healthy for us to get to know each other, but I'm really proud of this person. I'm so proud of them that, like, I could practically start crying. I'm not, like, saying that I'm for or against this person, but I'm just proud of them because they had the courage to change, and that's really hard to do, I know. It's really hard to do that, to make a change. And even just to do that first step where you admit, you know, that you, you take your own inventory and you go, yes, I have a problem. I've done things that, you know, whatever. And, and that person has a fight with someone else. And to tell you the truth, I, I started out judging this person and being, you know, nasty. Um, and, I, you know... I kind of regret that. You know, one thing I will say, I'm starting to cry now. Um, I grew up with a father, and maybe it wasn't always perfect in our household, but I had a friend that I went to high school with, and her father died when she was still like an infant or uh, under a year old. And this really is a true story. And... 
her mother did an excellent job and she had older siblings and um you know the it was in a time where you know it was not so impossible to put a roof over your head and feed your kids and give them the basics whatever but i'm sure that not having her father under um the roof impacted her anyone that's being raised by just one parent especially if there's a loss i think i'm not saying that that one remaining parent doesn't do an awesome job i'm just saying i can't judge that's god's job but i feel like i can't find even a speck of hate in my heart towards somebody who i had something that they didn't I I feel in a way ashamed of myself. I'm not God. I'm not, you know, the FBI or the DOJ or anything like that. I'm I'm none of that. It's it's not my business. My life is my business. And my business is maybe people that I connect with, you know, that I feel like this connection. There's a reason why people feel connections. Maybe they have an emotional need. Maybe there's like a trauma bond going on. I don't know. I really don't know. You know, I don't. But people do come in our life for a reason, season, a lifetime. I'm older, so it's not lifetime. Reason is just about everyone. Season, that's to be determined. But, um, I, I don't, I, you know, I'm not scripted. I just don't feel like I have it in me to actively hate. I don't want to allow myself to be put in a situation where, um, I have to put my foot down, where I have to, um, be defensive. I don't like even being in that situation. Um, and I need to focus more on my own health and pursuing, taking care of myself. Um, but the dramas do arise even when you go online. I just don't like it. I don't like what's gone on in my real life. Um, but you can't always have that happy little life 24-7. Sometimes things come in that are really stressful and sad, you know. And other times, I, I just don't know. It just seems like there's a, a dip right now in my life, a dip. And I'm trying to find happiness, um... Maybe in like, you know, silly things, being silly, um, doing a little make-believe. Um, I plan on changing a video that I have on the main page. It's cartoon, and one person's supposed to represent me. The other person originally was supposed to represent uh, another person, but in my head, I'm thinking... The cartoon character actually resembles my ex-husband. I'm not going to reconcile with my ex-husband. But the cartoon character of the male, to me, just represents maybe a composite or um, a fantasy of that I wished that I had a more satisfying marriage or a more satisfying relationship. I don't know, you know? But I don't know. I really don't know. I, to be honest, I don't really know what I'm thinking or feeling in regards to certain areas of my life right now. Because everything else is like... <sighs> there's just like a lot of strife going on right now. So, um... It sounds a little bit crazy and confusing. And I know I don't have like a whole bunch of people listening. But, um... That's just what's going on. Don't make any assumptions about anyone. If you really don't know them, if you don't know um, what they've been through or what they're going through now or what they have facing ahead of them, um, try to keep an open mind. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. Love you. Bye.